Unfortunate news coming in right now from Punjab, where five rain-related deaths have been reported, with streets completely inundated and parts of Punjab completely flooded right now. The death toll is going up. Rains have brought Punjab down to its knees and the heavy rain continues in several parts of the state as well. There are several districts that have been very, very badly affected. As you see on your screens there, several residential societies completely waterlogged, people stranded as a result of that. And add to that is also all of the rainfall that continues. Uh, the Met Department has issued an alert for parts of Punjab as well, but five deaths that unfortunately have been reported so far from Punjab. Keeping our fingers crossed that that number doesn't go up, but with the situation, seeing those images on your screens, extremely concerning right now what's playing out in Punjab as well. We'll just go across to our reporter in just a bit to get you those updates of what's happening in Punjab. The administration also on their toes. They've made it very clear at this point that they're doing everything they can to provide necessary help to locals. Life has come to a standstill in most of these parts. Even in Chandigarh, a holiday has been declared for all schools and colleges and most offices also have closed down as a result of the torrential downpour. Kamaljit Sandhu is joining us with more details on this. Kamaljit, you've been out there reporting from several parts of rain-affected Punjab from the worst hit districts. Five deaths, unfortunately, that have been reported so far. The concern is that the number could even go up in the coming hours. Oh, well, absolutely. The uh, situation is getting back to worse. Uh, today is day three of the rains and incessant torrential rains have called and wreaked havoc uh, right here in Punjab. Uh, people haven't seen this kind of flood really taking place. Uh, unprecedented rainfall, uh, the water levels only rising. Uh, several dams, both in Himachal as well as in Haryana, and we've seen Sutta Lake floodgates also being opened, resulting in uh, the river belt, uh, the river area rising. Uh, but also, uh, what we see is uh, that there is a massive water logging today. What we also know is uh, that sources clearly indicating to us uh, that five persons have died in Punjab. Uh, yesterday, uh, there was at least one which was reported because of uh, collapse of a house. Uh, there are several buildings which are under under observation because of uh, the weak infrastructure. But uh, clearly, as far as uh, Bhagwan Man government is concerned, they've already given a construction to ministers and MLA uh, to be available in their own location. Uh, there is obviously several rounds of meeting Punjab Police, NDRF, uh, SDRF, all of them. Uh, it's all hands on the deck at this point of time. Uh, but yes, uh, one sad news is uh, that the number has now risen to five deaths uh, because of incessant rainfalls, and remember, even the danger is not over just yet. Even for today, uh, there is continuous rainfall, and uh, yes, the rescue operation is being carried out uh, right from uh, different places. And now, today, what we know is even Haryana has escalated uh, the matter, and army is being called in in several places, and rescue operations are being carried out. Uh, the latest one is being in Shahabad. We also know that Barwala Chauki is where a uh, few children were actually uh, 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 actually uh, uh, caught up in, in uh, waters there and they've been rescued. Uh, so all these uh, operations concurrently going on uh, both uh, in, in Haryana as well as Punjab. But yes, uh, Punjab okay. remains a huge cause of concern uh, as far as the alert is, is, uh, uh, is being sounded. And in many parts, uh, the worst affected parts of Punjab, the heavy rain continues as we speak as well.